Hey, this is Paul with MakeUseOf.com, and I'm gonna start the video off by asking you a really simple question. Would you rather pay $61 for a pack of three smart light bulbs, or would you rather pay $45 for a pack of four? For less than half the price of the leading smart lighting brand, you can give your home, office, or space a major smart home upgrade without having to break the bank. Now, you might think by choosing the cheaper brand that you'll be sacrificing a lot in terms of software or other features, but in my experience using the Sync brand, that hasn't been the case. Formerly called C by GE, Sync is a relatively new lighting system, still by GE. They have a wide selection of smart bulbs, fixtures, light strips, sensors, switches, and remotes, and now even security cameras and thermostats too. And when I proposed that question at the start of the video, the competitor I was referring to was Hue by Philips. Now overall, they still have a dominant lead in terms of the sheer variety of bulbs and fixtures that they offer. But in my time using the Sync system, I found that they don't really compromise much in terms of features. In fact, in my three plus months of installing and using Sync's products, they've already released two plus major firmware app updates, which have added several new lighting and programmable modes, which have added even more value to their lineup. So if your goal is to add smart lighting and other smart connectivity to your home that can be reliably controlled via voice, app, or automation with a minimal setup required, then Sync is an excellent choice that won't disappoint. And actually, a big focus with their bulbs as well as the rest of their lineup is the fact that it's simple setup without the need of a hub. And if you're familiar with Philips Hue as well as some of the other leading competitors, a lot of them need a hub in order to get the most out of their smart features. Otherwise, you're stuck to just using Bluetooth, which is very limited. Additionally, of course, these smart bulbs and the rest of their lineup can also be controlled by Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. You're able to then control these lights either in home or anywhere, so long as you have access to the Sync app. You can also sync the sleep-wake cycle by adjusting the color balance throughout the day. By creating custom schedules, you can automate when the lights turn on or off. These schedules can be set to different days of the week and different times. For more control, you can even create specific scenes, like warming dim lights for movie time or setting cool lights when you want to wake up. The Sync bulbs offer Bluetooth and direct Wi-Fi connectivity, which will pair each light directly to your existing network. So perhaps the biggest selling feature when choosing Sync, in addition to the cost savings compared to Philips Hue, is the fact that you don't need to buy an expensive hub in order for these lights to work. Now, on one hand, this means if you have weak Wi-Fi range or for whatever reason your Wi-Fi network goes down, you're gonna lose control over your smart bulbs and you're gonna to have to resort to turning them off manually through a light switch. And of course you won't have the control over their brightness and their colors. On the other hand though, if you do have a strong Wi-Fi connection, this shouldn't be an issue. As we were saying earlier, Sync offers far more than just light bulbs, but their RGB 60 watt LED bulbs are probably their most popular product. And another thing that's really cool is that beyond their smart light bulbs and wafer lights, they also offer a number of decorative RGB LED lights. These ones kind of have that more Edison style, and especially for lamps and light fixtures where the light bulb is visible, this is a really great way to add some more character to your home. And you can see just how cool this looks. This is their 60 watt color decorative light. Now this is the one that I have from Ikea. And while it's obviously not intended for that lamp, let me just go ahead and show you how quickly we can set this light up. And you can already see just how quickly that popped up. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit set up. We're gonna name our device. Studio Desk, I'm gonna call it lamp. I'll search for networks. It already has my previous network saved as well as its password. So I just have to hit next. In a few moments, it should connect it to my network. And it's done. In our next step, this is where we're gonna add it to our studio. We can add a new group. So for example, you see that I already have studio ceiling lights as a group. For example, if I had more lights over here, maybe an LED strip in addition to this light and maybe even this lamp, I could go ahead and create a new group where I can control all three of those lights as a single group. For right now, we're gonna hit skip. And now, the light has been added. What's cool is, 
After adding your light, it checks for updates. Firmware updates allow to do more new features like the light shows, for example. So as this is a brand new light that hasn't been installed before, we already have the ability to update the device to firmware version 1.3.036. And once it finds that update, it'll begin installing it automatically. The other thing you'll notice is because we already have the integration with Alexa, it automatically finds every new device that I've added. When we click on that, the Alexa app has actually been a little bit finicky, but you can see within the Alexa app itself, I'm able to change the color and brightness. And actually now you can set the light show. Alexa, set studio light show to rainbow. I don't know how to set studio to that setting. So just as I suspected, you still can't do it via voice command as far as I can tell right now. But at least you have the option within the app itself to control it. Once your light is fully added to your system, it'll ask if you want to add more devices. We do not. We've already set it up with our voice assistant, so we can skip there. And within the app itself, so your home page here shows your home, and you have your settings on the left hand side. You can create your routines as we showed before. And once we click under studio with the three dots, that's where we see all the lights. And what's really cool here is you can actually see as you're adjusting the brightness, the color it's currently set to. So maybe if we set this to that color, you'll notice that the color changes as we adjust the um, brightness now. You can also set individual color effects for all our lights there too. We can create a show. So let's put that to rainbow. We can also, I guess we can't control the brightness there anymore. For the studio lights, let's do the same and put it to rainbow. So as we showed, we can control the individual groups for the ceiling lights and for the whole studio. Now I can also set the rainbow effect to go together. So those are all your quick options within the app. Aside from the wafer lights, which did require a number of extra steps, obviously, because there's a lot more that you need to install up there in your ceiling. Most of their other lights and products just need to be screwed or plugged in in order to work. For smart integration, Sync can be connected to Google, Alexa, or Siri, Apple HomeKit. This will allow you to control your lights and your other smart devices via the assistance without needing to use the Sync app. And then by connecting my Sync account to Alexa, Alexa, set the studio lights to purple. Okay. Alexa, set the studio lights to 10%. Okay. It's really easy to just make quick changes to your light settings for an entire room like this with just a simple command. Your main controls include the brightness, color, and temperature. That said, as of right now, you can't use commands to set your light shows. But perhaps a bigger limitation, at least with Alexa, is that you are not able to transfer your rooms or groups created within the Sync app over to the Alexa app. And because of that, you'll then need to recreate these groups within the Alexa app if you wanna have control over those larger groups as a whole. Again, it's a little bit tedious, especially when you're adding several lights or other smart devices at the same time, but once you do it, you're pretty much set and done. In my experience, I've found that smart devices like lights tend to be very finicky with combo 2.4 gigahertz, five gigahertz networks that share the same SSID like mine. But thankfully, it appears that Sync products don't have an issue with that, which is great. In my months of using the various lights and devices, I haven't found any issues with them disconnecting or not being reachable. The only one thing that I have noticed is sometimes, and this is again probably an issue specifically with Alexa, you'll give a command to turn the light on or off and she'll respond and say okay and the lights won't do it either right away or at all, but usually just saying the command a second time fixes it. I think I was finding that this issue was a little bit more prominent a couple months ago, so perhaps they're working things out and maybe the integrations are getting a little bit better. Even though my home is only a few years old and it actually came with a few smart features including a Wi-Fi garage door, a Wi-Fi front door lock, and a ring doorbell, I made it a priority to also add smart lighting. And so I've been gradually upgrading my home with new smart features from Sync's lineup, including their smart bulbs, their wafer lights, LED strips, thermostats, and plugs. 
Alexa, set the studio lights to red. Alexa, set the okay. studio. Alexa, set the studio lights to fifty percent. Okay. The biggest upgrade probably starts in the living room. Generally, I'm not a huge fan of standing lamps, and I try to use ceiling or fixtures when possible. My house came with recessed six-inch LED lighting installed in most of the rooms. I began by swapping out the four in my living room for the sync six inch wafer smart LED downlights. These lights include a remote junction box, which makes the installation process a little bit easier, but you'll still likely need to refer to the video tutorials if you don't have much electrical or handyman experience. Thankfully, mine already had recessed cans and was pre-wired and I didn't have to drill any holes, but if you don't have them already in your ceiling, you are gonna need to drill the holes they do have a template that you can use and follow along with for each installation. But as I did have previous six inch lights up there, perhaps the hole that they used was just a little bit bigger. Did notice that with the wafer lights that I was installing from sync, there was a bit of a cutout noticeable on some of the lights. So I actually found a few cheap wafer light trim kits on Amazon, which retail for about $9 for a pack of five. After installing these rings, it's as simple as placing them against the top of your ceiling before you actually install the light. And actually, I think I preferred the look with the trim kit installed. It looked a little bit more premium. Another cool and versatile application for these lights is also to put them in areas that aren't very accessible. And what I mean by that is, sometimes you're entering your home, your hands are full of groceries and you can't see where you're going. So either, you know, setting up a quick command with Alexa saying, hey, I'm home, and she'll automatically know which lights to turn on. Or you can just say like, hey, turn on the stairway lights. That is one of the most common ones that I use as it allows me to easily see where I'm going as I'm entering my home when it's dark. One of the other really cool things about Sync is that, again, their lineup includes more than just lights as it also includes the smart switches as well as other devices like smart thermostat. And with your new Wi-Fi thermostat, you can now ask your voice assistant to turn the thermostat on, off, set the temperature, and you can also create a schedule. Lastly, I tried GE Sync's outdoor smart plug. And this has proven to be a great device for automating older patio and string lights. You have your short but very durable cable and plug, and this is what it looks like in hand. And you can control each of your inputs physically with the buttons at the top, so that's nice. And of course, you have access to the plugs underneath with this nice weather sealed cover above it. So when you're not using it, you don't need to worry about elements getting in there. On the back here, this is where you have your mounting plate. So if you want to screw this into the back of the wall, you have the ability to do that using the template that they provide. But one of the biggest benefits of this is that you're able to control your exterior lights and your other devices using smart controls from inside your home or anywhere. I can see a lot of people using this to control their outdoor holiday lights and other decorations via a schedule or voice command. And in my case, I have one of these set up outside to control my patio lights as I don't have access to a switch to turn it on or off manually. Lastly, I wanna discuss the overall experience with this and also kind of give you my thoughts as far as are there any compromises with this system. Overall, I haven't experienced any issues or felt that the sync system lacked any of the key features that I wanted with my smart lighting. That said, there are still a few ways that the Philips Hue system, as well as some of the other competitors, still have a slight edge in terms of some of the extra features that they offer to take their lighting to the next level. There are certain premium experiences that Philips offers, which, while very niche in my opinion, could make it worth the significant cost over sync for some users. One thing is Philips offers a lot more integrations with other products. For example, Philips Hue just has a lot more integration with other products like Razer Chroma as well as Spotify. This is again very niche, but you can sync your lights with the Razer Chroma accessories. That way you can have complementary or matching lighting effects to your computer, peripherals, and even the game. Do you really need this? No, but it's probably something you can brag about and just show off a couple times. I could maybe see this as a worthy upgrade if you really want the true ultimate immersive lighting setup for a game room. That said, at least for me, I don't think it's worth paying twice as much to get those features. Sync at the time of this review doesn't offer any similar integration. However, I felt that their customizable lighting effects and presets were more than enough to set the mood. I typically like to set my lights to a gradual rainbow or manually set a few lights to a specific color or brightness. And for me, that's more than enough. And so overall, using the sync system, integrating it into my home, combining it with Alexa has been a really cool experience. It's been easy to set up and install, and it's really given me the control that I want over my lighting. 
And aside from being one of the more affordable smart Wi-Fi options, they also have one of the most extensive lineups. Between their wafer lights, their different decorative bulbs, as well as their regular bulbs, thermostats, and switches, if you just want one app to control most of your smart home devices, GE Sync has you covered. So thank you again for checking out this video. Let us know what you think about these products in the comments down below. This has been Paul with MakeUseOf.com, and until the next one, we'll catch you later. Thank you.